All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our liquid liquid extraction. So we're gonna start by adding two packets of goodies powder into our separatory funnel. Keep in mind for your theoretical recovery calculations that there are 500 milligrams of aspirin and 325 milligrams of acetaminophen per packet. We are going to dissolve this goodies powder in 25 milliliters of ethyl acetate. Once that's added, we are just going to shake until it is mostly dissolved. It won't dissolve 100% in ethyl acetate, but it should get most of the way there. Next, we are adding 25 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate to the separatory funnel. Once it's added, we are going to cap the separatory funnel, hold our finger firmly on the stopper, and begin to slowly invert and vent. Each time you vent, there's a little pop, sort of like a soda can opening. You want to keep shaking and venting until there's no noise at all. Remember to close the stopcock after venting before you start shaking again. Once that's done, we are putting it back in the ring stand. As you can see, there should be two distinct layers forming. The top layer is ethyl acetate, our organic layer, and the bottom layer is water, which is our aqueous layer. Now it's time to drain, but it's not draining. Well, that's because we left the stopper on. One of the most common mistakes in working with separatory funnels is not removing the stopper before you try to drain off the bottom layer. Always make sure to remove the stopper and then open the stopcock to drain the aqueous layer. Once the aqueous layer has been drained from the bottom, we are going to remove the sub funnel from the iron ring and pour the organic layer out the top of the sub funnel. This is to avoid contamination through the stopcock. Now we are going to take the aqueous layer and add it back into our separatory funnel making sure that the stopcock is closed before we begin. To that aqueous layer, we are adding 10 more milliliters of ethyl acetate. The purpose of this second wash is to remove any acetaminophen that might still be dissolved in the aqueous layer. We are repeating the shaking and venting process as before. And we are going to drain the bottom layer into the aqueous flask. Now we are going to leave that second organic layer that we've just made in the separatory funnel while we add our original organic layer back into the separatory funnel as well. We are then going to add 10 more milliliters of sodium bicarbonate into the separatory funnel. The purpose of this second sodium bicarbonate wash on the organic layer is to remove any residual aspirin that may still be trapped in with the acetaminophen. Once more, repeating our shaking and venting process. We are draining the bottom aqueous layer into the same aqueous flask from earlier.
and now we are going to pour the organic layer out the top of the separatory funnel. With that, our extraction is now complete. We have an organic flask containing ethyl acetate and acetaminophen, and an aqueous flask containing aspirin dissolved in water.